I'm going to do a review of the new gluten-free Gigi crackers. Um, Gigi crackers are recommended as part of the F-Factor diet. They contain insoluble fiber, um, which I have heard Tanya refer to that as nature's broomstick because it kind of helps clean out your digestive system, which is very good for you. Um, I have not eaten Gigi crackers. These are the original. I did not eat them because I gave up gluten years and years ago, like at least 10 years ago, probably more. And when I started F Factor, I actually tried eating Gigi crackers and they caused me to have like a reaction on my face. So I have no idea what that means. I don't know if I'm like now allergic to gluten because I haven't eaten it in 10 years. I have no idea. But I had a bunch of them in my pantry because I ordered a big box on Amazon and never ate them after that. And I actually like tried them, broke out. My husband actually was the one who figured it out because I was like, I don't know what is causing me to break out on my skin. And he's like, it's these crap, you're eating gluten, you know? So I stopped eating them. And then a couple weeks later, tried them again, same thing. So I'm for sure these. They just came out with the gluten-free a few weeks ago, and so I ordered them from the GG website. I believe that's the only place that you can get them right now. I didn't see them on Amazon. So um, we'll talk about the nutrition first. Okay, the original GG crackers um, contain their 20 calories per cracker. They um, contain six grams of carbs, and four grams of fiber per cracker. So they are two net carbs per cracker. The gluten-free version are 40 calories per cracker and the crackers are exactly the same size. They contain six grams of carbs and only three grams of fiber. So these are slightly higher in calories and they have um, one less gram of fiber. So these are three net carbs in the new gluten-free and there are two net carbs in the original. Okay, so I have a bag open here. Everyone talks about how GG crackers are so dry and difficult to eat and tasteless. Um, those are kind of broken up, but um, I'm gonna take out one of the original crackers so I can compare, because I haven't eaten them in a while. Okay, so here's the thing. This is the original and this is the gluten-free one. The original ones, they're about the same thickness, but they have a different consistency. The original ones are very branny, like they're very fibrous when you chew on them. And so people like to dip them in things and put rows on them and melt cheese and really like kind of doctor them up in order to make the taste bearable. The new ones, to me, they're more like a traditional cracker. Like, it's definitely very crunchy, but like, it's not that far from some crackers that I've had in the store. Like, more like a European style cracker. It's more like a cracker. I think they taste better. To me, like, I don't, I would have this with dip. I would spread cheese on it. I did that this weekend over Thanksgiving, and it was very good. I think the taste, it just tastes, it honestly just tastes more like a cracker, whereas the original ones, I feel like I want to taste it to compare, but I don't want to, like, break out, so I'm not going to taste it, but they were more, like, grainy and had a very distinct taste these like i i've had crackers that taste like this before it's not like a ritz it's not like oh like a delicious buttery cracker it's very plain but the point is you're getting very healthy whole grain fiber and you're going to put cheese on it or make a pizza. I haven't tried doing that yet, but I will, and I will post about it. Um, 
So I think if you're gluten-free, these are a phenomenal option. I'm not going to be eating these all the time because you guys know I really like eating whole foods and I love my smoothies in the morning. So I don't see myself eating these all the time, but they're going to be awesome for travel. Um, I would definitely put them on a cheese tray. Like, I don't think I could put these on a cheese tray and bring them to someone's house because I think people would be like, what is that? This, I feel like people would be like, that's not the best cracker ever, but I don't think people would think it's like weird. Does that make sense? Um, so if you're gluten-free, I would for sure try them. If you're not gluten-free and you like the original Gigi's, I would probably stick to them just because they do have more fiber and they're lower nut carb. And if it works, it's not broke, don't fix it, right? But, um, yeah, so that's my review. I definitely will keep these in my pantry. And I'll start posting ideas of what to do with them. All right, if you have any questions or want any more details, just give me a message.